So he's also a, a musician, and he actually he's been in uh, T for three years, and he lives now in Siberia, where it is very cold. So people have to do something about it to warm them up. And he, he doesn't drink alcohol at all. Look at his face. He's a barman, so they don't drink alcohol. They just drink tea. And so, uh, what what was your number during uh, this procedure? So you're number one. Yeah, so you will be the you will be the first one. Yeah. Okay. Well, you will be the first one in our competition. Okay. Thank you, Vlad. Um, but now we welcome the second person. No, no, you stay here. You stay here because people need to see who we'll is competing. So the next person is Ivanov Andrei from Latvia. Okay, that was very private. I'm not going to tell you what happened. <laughs> um, so Natalia is actually five years has been in the tea world, and she's very much interested in uh, Chinese culture and Chinese medicine and also Chinese art. So very artistic person and she's uh, the winner in um, tea preparation in Russia. So Natalia, we wish you, you look really gorgeous today. Really gorgeous. Guys, you also look gorgeous but she looks more gorgeous than you. <laughs> um, so we, we want, uh, what was your number? Your number is four. So can I put you between uh, between Vlad and Andre? Can you stand here? Yes, yeah, so we have one, four, and six, and we'll see what will be other numbers. But first, let's cheer Natalia and wish her a very good participation. And the next participant I would like to invite is uh, Kutrykov Alexei from Belarus. So he looks a little bit Chinese, yes. He looks a little bit Chinese, but he's from Belarus. And Alexei also has a lot of talents. Apart from the talent that he was the winner of uh, tea preparation category in Belarus, he is also very good in playing goa. William, do you know what is goa? Goa, goa. Beichi. Beichi. Beichi is a very special uh, Japanese sort of chairs. chairs. So he's a master in that. So you see, he's a very strategic, strategic person. And also he's uh, very good in music. And he's a musician and he's also a very good poet. And uh, he has got his own tea club. Uh, and in tea he has been for how many years? Five years. So you see, number five is very popular in this group. Five years of tea experience. Nice. And um, are you see, what was your number? when? Uh, So you'll be before Natalia. Okay, let's cheer Alexei and wish him all the best in the competition. And we have two more, two more beautiful. 
for young women, I especially give the special honor of announcing them, uh, like number five and number six. These are two beautiful ladies from uh, from Turkey, and they their names are Nurchak Kocali.
but after 15 minutes, uh, Bart will start his show, and then the other participants, the other participants will get ready on the second table, and in 15 minutes, your attention will switch to the next participant. So each of the participants has only 15 minutes for their tea preparation, and 15 minutes for the, their tea show. And now I would like to thank all of you for listening to me for 15 minutes. And we will see all of you a little bit later. So now, um, now God will start preparing. Preparing it means uh, he will not tell you anything. He will just get ready his cups and his tea balls, his water. You can observe this, and um, I see so many people over here because you want to know more about what is going on. And I will try to tell you during this 15 minutes something about the master's cup, and also I will ask the judges some questions because probably you want to know more about the judges. But first of all, I would like um, those of you who are tea experts or people who know. A lot about tea. Raise, raise your hand. Who are here from the from the the ones who know a lot about tea? Can you raise your hands? Those of you who know a lot about tea. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody knows. Is there anybody who knows something about tea? Something about tea. Yeah. Something about tea. You don't know anything about tea. Of course. Of course. They say we know about tea. Okay. So. Um, can you tell me, so what country, just, this is a small place for you to go up because I have to tell you something before, uh, before, before he's preparing. So can you tell me uh, what country is considered to be the... Uh, so, so the motherland of tea? China. This was one answer. Any other answers? Taiwan. Sri Lanka. Lanka, Taiwan, China, Japan, the motherland of tea. Can you ask our, our honorable judge, Mr. Park, what is the right answer? India is the motherland of tea. Do you know what is the motherland of tea? China. 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 So four against one, Mr. Bar, you lost. Sorry. So China is the motherland of tea, and actually we know that the history of tea is full of interesting stories. And the tea moved all over the world before it came here, here today, to this very place. And the people, the people who will be showing you their their mastership, they will show you what they can do with the tea. And actually, they will show different styles of brewing tea. Some of them will do it in Chinese way, somebody in Japanese way, somebody in Turkish way. Somebody will be do it in their Russian way. I don't know, actually. I don't know anything what they're going to do, but you're going to see. And our honorable judges will give them special marks. And those of them who get the biggest number, of the biggest score, they will be the winner. So each category will have one. So today we have only the category about uh, tea preparation, and there will be one winner. Tomorrow we have tea pairing, and there will be also one winner. And the third winner will be the third day during the tea tasting. And uh, now I would like to ask one of the judges, so what they wish, what they, what they expect from this uh, category. Really, I want to ask you, because you give the right answer about China. <laughs> so, what what are your expectations from uh, from today? No, in general about this uh, this uh, tea preparation category. Well, especially because tea is sorry uh, for your guest. So, how you present tea to the people is very important in tea culture. So, I just want to see how professionally they produce. I mean, they present tea uh, in uh, what manner? And for you, what is more important, tea taste or tea aroma? What do you like more? Uh, 
um, of course, it's a combination of all, but especially, personally, I prefer the aroma uh, of the taste. So we'll see it uh, as a whole. Okay, thank you very much. It was very professional answer. Again, okay, I would like to ask uh, Gabriella Nomadzi, who came from Italy. This is our Italian judge who wrote a beautiful book about cheese sommelier. Uh, Gabriella, I would like to ask uh, what is the biggest uh, score uh, the participants can get for, for his, uh, for his uh, tea preparation? I think that the most important is the personal charisma because uh, they should reprint the ancient art of our personal way. So the most important characteristic is personal charisma, but what is the biggest score you can give for charisma in this category? Uh, if they are sure of self, the Okay, the score, the biggest score is five or one or two? Five. So, thank you, thank you, Gabriela. So, this was for you to understand that when people, like when the judge is given the score, the high score for uh, for the special characteristic will be five. The lowest score is one. So, each of the participants can get either, either five or two or three or four, depends on the judges. Um, and Mustafa, you have seen all the participants, yes? You have seen all the six participants. So, um, which one? It's not good to ask. Who do you think will be the winner? It's not correct to ask. Yes? Uh, but which one is the most intriguing for you? You were intrigued by which of the participants? <laughs>
after after their performance is over. Like 
So while well, the first tea is being made, Vlad is preparing the second tea from uh, Organize. And it's okay if, if the participant, if he needs help from organizers, he can ask for the help. It's, it's okay, it's allowed by the rules. Oh, 
by pressure of uh, over oil and water, we make a mixture of uh, red Chinese teas. Uh, here we got ginger stout chew and uh, ginger mayo. Yeah. My, my, my Chinese is not so good. <laughs> Sorry. Ginger mayo. Ginger mayo. Yes, ginger mayo and ginger stout chew. Right. Do you know this tea? Do you know this tea? Yeah. Oh yeah, I invite judges to meet with the tea. Yes. This is Jin Shan Xiao Jun. Xiao Jun. This is the kind of tea when people smell it, they say it's very smoky. It smells very smoky. Very recognizable tea. Oh, this can you help me again? And the second tea, should we also pass it to them? Yeah. yeah. And uh, the second tea? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. And also, and also a Turkish white tea for with with tea. This is the white white Turkish tea. Yeah, right. Very nice aroma. White tea, yeah. This was the second tea from organizers. Thank you. 